Hello and welcome for this video. In this video I will show how you can save your CSS files to an external file. No, normally when, when I work I love to have all my CSS files in an external file. Some some people love to have it in, in a style inside your your HTML. It's, it's up to every people but for my personal uh, opinion is I really love to have it in a, in a external file so I, I know where the file is and uh, for this we, we need to go for the node uh, npm sorry and install our, our style loader CSS loader and then a new one uh, it's an extract text webpack plugin and if you are on webpack 4 you need to use the Extract text webpack plugin version 4. In this uh, in this moment when I'm recording this video, it's in beta. And if you don't use next for this uh, for this reason, you will go for the version 3, and then you have uh, you will have a box you will fight with. So be sure you're on version 4 of this when you use webpack 4. And then we want to save it. To, to internal use this will take a, a little time and then we're done you can see the versions here what we are it's a 400 beta 0 and uh, then we go for for our CSS plugin it's here we already closed the uh, old files and we Go for web plugin here, uh, web, web pack config. Sorry, and the first we want to do is making a const called uh, extract text plugin. It's it's equal to our extract text text web pack plugin, and then we need to add the model. And the rules and then we say this should only have effect on our CSS files of course if you're running the less and the CSS files you can do the same on the files but for this I will only show you on um, On, on the CSS file and I want to exclude the node files and the loader should be the extract plugin extract and then I want to send the options inside I want to use the CSS loader and if something is going wrong I will go back to the style loader as a fallback And then you need to add a plugins. And for this we need extracts here. And we say style sheet. And what we use the name of the file, bundle, and then the CSS. That's how we're doing. And for now, we need uh, the CSS file. Go inside to say app.css and we say body background pink. And the font size should be 48 pixels. And then we save it. And I want to require it inside here. If I go into run our webpack, it should be run out of the box. Everything is running fine. And you can see public essence style sheet, we have it here. So now we need to say hello world. And I will show you 
the file. Yeah, it's nothing. So let's go back to a project and say the starches should be assets app bundle dot CSS. And if we go in back and load it, uh, I have a little bug. Let's try it again. Oh, of course, style sheets, and here we go. So that's how we're working with uh, with external files in uh, Webpack. It's uh, very easy, and I would recommend that if you want to control your files easily. But it's up to you. This is just a, a friendly video. I hope you enjoy. It. And if you like, it, make a like and share. It. I hope you add it to your playlist and subscribe me. If you have any questions, make a comment below. Hope to see you next time.